Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chase, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you art of real creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. And this is my latest tutorial. This is a foam board photograph record player. Somebody gave me a record for Christmas, one of my sisters. It was one of my favorite records when I was a teenager. <laughs> I haven't heard it in a very long time. Well, I don't have a record player, so I thought, you know what, I'll make one. Now, I'm not going to play it right here for you, and I apologize for that. I usually like to do things ahead of time so you get to see. But here, here you see how it operates. There's a little pin on it, and if you want to listen to it, skip ahead in the video to the four-minute mark. I think almost exactly four minutes. But see, this is a pretty standard kind of thing that people do. You make a cone of paper, and you stick a pin in it. You see how that pin was at a little bit of an angle there? And it works. It's a little strange, but it works. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll give you a review of how to make it. Okay, so I just used foam board, right? I made myself a little box, large enough. I think it was 14 inches, because an LP, a record like that, is 12 inches. So, and then the 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 controls, the workings of the of it are a couple of pulleys. And here, I'll show you how I made a pulley with that a wooden dowel that fits on that. And the important thing here is to try to make everything as smooth and as straight as possible so you can try to get a smooth sound out of it. Mine is a little, I don't know the right word, hokey, but yeah, it's a fun project nonetheless. But here, here's the um, pulley that you can put rubber bands or string on. See, it's I cut two discs of foam board to one size, and then I cut two discs of foam board to a larger size, see, and it forms like a moon pie, right? And now that's a pulley. Now we can put the rubber band or the um, a string in there, and I make two of them. One is for the turntable, and one is for the hand crank. And then I just see this, look at this, all right? A couple of dowels assemble it all together and like I said this isn't a full tutorial I just thought I, I wasn't gonna even do a tutorial I was just making this for my own fun but I ended up shooting some video and I said you know what I'll I'll do a little video it might be fun if you make this project send me a picture I'd love to see it um, and I will send you a certificate of contribution just like I do with all my projects if you make one of my projects send me a send me a pic I will send you a certificate of contribution e by email I ended up putting a dowel on that as a handle so I get a hand crank so I could crank it. But smoothness is the key, as smooth as possible for everything. But hey, just a just a an exposition of the beauty of foam board. And I started with rubber bands and I ran a bunch of tests with it and it just wasn't it tended to pull, like um to get tight and then loosen, get tight, then loosen, like the rubber bands acted a little weird. So I ended up changing it to string which was a little bit better. But there we go, that's it. Simple little record player, right? It's very Edison, I guess you could say. And the turntable, right? I'm just having just these wonderful flashbacks. You know, I haven't heard this album in a very decades, and it was just kind of strange to listen to it. So there we go. See, it's a little bit wobbly. That's all right. We're not looking for high fidelity here. But it works. It does work. Just a pin and a cone of paper. I'm mean, really fun, fun. See, there's the pin and angle your pin. If you make one, angle the pin. That's important.
Okay, so let's um, let me show you a few little things if you're gonna make one. Now, I, there we go. See, there's the pin. Like I said, you angle the pin forward. You stick it through both sides of both edges of the of the cone, right, all the way through, and it works pretty good. I'm really surprised by this. And um, I tried different sized pins, and I tried a bunch of different types of cones. Look, I'll show you some of the experiments I went through. That cone, and then I did a bigger cone. And I was like, oh, it's not very loud, but that big cone is loud. I even tried no cone, like that, see? That didn't work at all. And then I tried like this kind of like drum diaphragm, kind of like a drum, you know, I thought maybe that would vibrate, but it didn't, it didn't work. That's some um, tracing paper. You know, like the, the skin of a drum. Here, I tried a bunch of different size needles, and for the most part, they all worked about the same, small needles, large needles, it didn't matter. The angle of the needle is important. And uh, another tip here is I put some felt so the record would grab the foam board better and it would spin smoother and it, it, that helped. And I made a little stand for the other end of the cone. See? And that's it. So um, let me see. What did I want to say? Oh, I wanted to say a couple of things. Thanks for watching my videos. Give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, Thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.